Hello and welcome to KMTV, your roundup of what's going on in Kent on Thursday, June the 25th. It's emerged hundreds of patients have been seen by a banned doctor who'd been hired by an East Kent Health Trust. Kieran Kaur has the details. Well, Levan Mahitarian stole the name of a real doctor in Thanet after being struck off by the General Medical Council. A court's heard he was born in Georgia and had never completed formal training to practice in the UK, but still managed to work as a GP at Ashford's William Harvey Hospital until he was caught in April 2014. The 36 year old who lives in South East London has pleaded guilty to 22 offences, has been remanded in custody, and will be sentenced next month. The trust which runs the hospital says no harm has been caused by his actions. A woman in her 70s has died following a crash involving a car and a lorry on Romney Marsh. Emergency crews, including the air ambulance, were called to the A2070 at Brenzit yesterday afternoon. She died at the scene and another woman in her 60s, who was also in the car, was flown to hospital. Ten migrants have been found in the back of a lorry in Folkestone. It's thought the group managed to get onto the truck during recent disruption in Calais and were found when the HGV stopped yesterday afternoon. They've been taken to the Dover Immigration Centre. Meanwhile, Operation Stack was finally lifted in Kent in the early hours of the morning after a backlog of freight waiting to cross the channel cleared overnight. In other news, an investigation is underway in Peterborough after a 29-year-old Canterbury man was killed in a head-on crash. Folkestone's become the first place in Kent to use new powers to help crack down on things like begging, street drinking and the use of legal highs. The public space protection orders will see officers from the local authority and police issuing warnings, whilst repeat offenders face fines of up to £1,000. And police say they're looking for a chubby woman with missing teeth after an 80-year-old was assaulted in Deal following a row over feeding pigeons. And finally, at almost 20 miles long, this piece of French knitting is once again a world record after it being officially measured again. Sittingbourne resident Edward Hannaford's been making the rope for more than two decades. He knits non-stop to make sure he keeps ahead of his nearest rival in Australia. So I got the record. And the next thing I knew, the guy from Australia, he went and beat me, didn't he? So... I said, well, that, you can't have that. He's not having it. I'm having it. England's having it. Great Britain's having it. Whatever you like to say. So um, I took it off him. And I've had it ever since. So there's no way he's coming back at it. I enjoy every minute of it. You know, it's just uh, it's like a sideline, if you like, compared to going out in the garden, digging the garden or whatever. There's more local news on KMFM and you can also follow us on Twitter and Facebook, but that's it from KMTV.